Does your town or city have a special spot that makes it really special, you know, like a neighborhood or a beach or a scenic view? The town of Newcastle has several of those things, but what local people are talking about right now is a new reality TV show, a part of town we're not even supposed to mention on TV. That's right, and it's going to be the focus of this TV show. Don Kerrigan reports. And you tell them to corner and that's it. I mean, they, they know where it is. On twisting and turning Route 215 is a wide spot in the road locals know by one name. If you try to t explain to somebody where you live, you can try and try and try. Finally, you say, you know what corner is? They'll find you. Yes, that's right. Named for the cows Larry Russell's father kept right here and the mess they put in the road. People could have said cow manure or cow flap or cow pie, even the cutesy cow poop, but they didn't. They said cow I knew he was going to make me cover that up. We break him, then we leave. <laughs> Larry and his buddies have lived and worked around here all their lives. Now they're going to share life on the corner with the rest of the world through a reality TV show. I said, no way. <laughs> No way they want. I said, we're just a, a bunch of hicks out here in North Newcastle. <laughs> See, the guys had been getting together Sunday mornings for years. Shoot the ball, we may drink a beer. Maybe. Maybe. Or two. Maybe. Calling their weekly wackiness the Church of the Holy Cow. Enter Keith O'Leary, a Maine native with years around TV and film in Los Angeles. He moved to Newcastle a few years ago, met these guys, and decided they needed to be on television. This is about characters, these characters. You know, it's really not about running a dairy farm. I was trying to figure out who mowed it. All you had to do was follow the mowing. You didn't have to go this way across yeah, it. The mowing was going everywhere. They do what working guys always do, shoot the bull. Have a little powwow and talk about the affairs and the week's, week's work and who done what and who didn't do what and who messed up what. How'd you get my wife to give you a haircut and a shave? <laughs> Just asked her. You did a good job. I'm kidding. Yep, she dragged me right in the house. I was more than willing to walk, but she grabbed me and away we went. <laughs> the show will also try to catch the action, like a big hay chopping fiasco. And sometimes the jokes and jabs will inspire action, like creating a float for the 4th of July parade where everyone was cheering just because there's a place with that name. Like the substance itself, the name for the corner stuck. Larry Russell's mother ran a store here for a number of years using that name, and the sign for the store became locally famous. Larry says that sign was actually stolen just a few weeks ago, and the theft of the sign has become fodder for their TV show. It's been taken down and changed a few times, but this is the first time it was ever stolen. Keith O'Leary plans to take all of this, the gab sessions, the farm work, and all the other stuff, and somehow turn it into a TV series. Will it work? I think just the uh, the title alone is going to get people's attention. And if somebody asks, well, what's it going to be about? What do you answer? Ask me and ask. If you can make it through the week, you just look forward to the next week. Oh, well. It's just living your life. And then you come back on a Sunday where they hope lots of other people will want to join them at the Church of the Holy Cow at Cow Corner in Newcastle, Don Kerrigan, New Center. That show's going to be a big hit. I can just smell it. <laughs> and it'll be on cable, so I guess they won't have to bleep. Apparently not. Listen, the Duck Dynasty guys make a fortune. That, this could be next. You, you don't know. never know. <laughs> you never know. A little less heat and humidity today. Looks like it's going to be a terrific weekend ahead. Joe Cupo has the forecast next on New Center 6.